Hey YouTube, welcome to this tutorial in Adobe After Effects. This time I'm going to show you how to make a jumper effect, which will look like this. And I'm going to show you two different ways you can make it. Like look, here's the first way. You slowly disappear as like you get distorted. And when you reappear, here's the other way. One like, you can see this like, weird like distortion that makes the actor appear so i'm going to show you how to make both of those effects and you can choose whichever one you like the most so um first we're going to take our footage and drop it into the new composition button and you should basically film it on a tripod film yourself just walking across the screen pretending to disappear and pretending to reappear Okay, so first, we're going to go to the area when we want the actor to disappear, which is right here. Then click on the layer and go to Edit, s Split Layer. Then go to the point when we want the actor to reappear, which is right here. And click on the, click on the layer that's, um, like, ending the composition and then go to edit split layer so we should now have a beginning layer a middle layer and an ending layer click on the middle layer and delete it and then we can bring the ending layer a, a bit closer and name the ending layer um up here and the beginning layer disappear And you can see that the actor goes, disappears, and reappears, but you can see there's like a blank area. So we are going to click on the disappear layer, hit control D, and name the disappear to layer background. And then go to the beginning of that layer, right click, go to time, freeze frame. So now it should just be um, like a still picture. And we can put that on the bottom and stretch it out throughout the whole composition. So we should now see that the actor disappears and reappears. But it looks really choppy, so we need to add some more effects to that. So here's, I'm going to show you how to make um, this effect right now. So. If you don't want to see this part, you can just wait. So we're just going to click on the disappear layer, go a few frames before it ends, and then find the mask tool and make a mask all around um, the shadow and around there. Because if we put it, <coughs> if we put it like cutting off the shadow, it'll just cut off the shadow and it will look kind of fake. Okay, so now we that now now that we have a mask, we're going to go a few frames before this layer ends. Hit M, and it should bring up the mask path, and click on the stopwatch. Now we can go to the ending of the layer, and basically just bring the mask in. We can actually bring that keyframe a little bit closer. And then we're going to go down to like the end of the layer and be and try and almost like cut off the actor. Now we're going to click on the disappear layer, hit F to bring up the feather, and bring it up to about twenty five. Okay, so we can see that slowly he sort of like disappears. And we can even add another effect to that, which is um, go to um, effect, distort, mesh warp. And we s we'll see a bunch of like 
boxes come up, we can just like take the corners of them and just drag them around. Oh wait, don't do that yet. Go to the point when you want him to start to disappear and find the distortion mesh up here and at, click on the stopwatch and then go to the end of the layer and then start distorting it. So if we zoom in, we can see that he sort of starts like disappearing and like getting distorted. So that's basically the um, one of the effects you can use. And the other effect, which I think is better, is this sort of like, I don't know how to describe it, but that effect. So we're going to click on this layer. I mean the composition, go to um, the beginning of the appear layer, click on the appear layer, zoom out, and then grab the um, ellipse tool, and then just drag um, an oval over here, like at the left of the this area. And then we're going to hit MM, find the mask expansion and then keyframe it and we're going to bring it all the way down so now it'll cut him off now go down a few frames and then bring it back up to zero okay now we can find the feather option and bring that up to about 25. And then go to the beginning of this layer, the appear layer, and then go to effect, distort, um, ripple. And we're going to, I think we keyframe the radius at the beginning of the appear layer, <coughs> at the beginning of the appear layer, keyframe the radius and go down a few frames and like bring it up and then bring up like the wave speed and the wave width and all of that stuff. And that might even be too much. Yeah, bring up the radius to about like 40. And we're going to go down a few frames and it should automatically disappear. So we can see that he appears as the distortion occurs. So you can apply either of those effects to both the appear and disappear layer and you'll basically just get a jumper effect and After Effects crashed again, but that's okay because this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, rate, subscribe. You can friend me, and I'll see you next time.